This week in our continuing Northern Exposure series, we take you on a journey to the eastern side of the UP. Our ABC 10 reporter Danielle Davis went just west of Manistique to visit a set of parks just miles apart, but she says you can't visit one without the other. There's nothing like spending time on the shores of Lake Superior on a beautiful summer day. Apparently, many others feel the same at the Indian Lake State Park. Its campground is currently at capacity and will be until sometime in August. The first rate amenities and scenic sunset seem to be some of the biggest draws. The beaches are clear, the beaches are safe, clean. clean. The camping facilities are just phenomenal. I mean, that's just beautiful. We had the most beautiful <laughs> sunset last night, and you know, hopefully, we'll have the same tonight. Um, what I really liked most was when we were cycling by the sunset, and it was very nice. It was a fiery red, maybe a reddish orange. Kind of gave you the idea that the sky could have been on fire. Indian Lake is the fourth largest inland lake in the UP. It stretches six miles long and three miles wide. Its south and west shore offer outdoor enthusiasts a choice of over 300 campsites with a variety of vantage points. It's kind of centrally located in the upper peninsula. From here, within a couple hours, you can visit the Sioux, you can visit Pictured Rocks, uh, you could travel over to the Mackinac and see the bridge. So it's a good place to set a base camp and explore. Just head about six miles north and you will end up at Palms Book State Park, where you can see all the way to the bottom of the emerald green pool through the crystal clear waters. But that wasn't always the case. The river used to be a garbage dump, but today more than 50,000 visitors roam through the park each year and experience nature and her unspoiled beauty. This state park is so popular, it's got several nicknames. It's also known as the Big Springs and Kitchita Kippy. The Big Spring is 45 feet deep and maintains a constant temperature of 45 degrees year round, which prevents it from ever freezing. The raft is equipped with a viewing port right in the middle of the translucent waves, allowing for fish viewing like you've never seen. Because this is the most peaceful place on earth. You get to see all these big, beautiful fish and cool people along the way. and. It's fish you can dream about catching, but you can't catch them, so it's just fun to look at them. There's hundreds and hundreds of fish down there. There's geysers, the brightest blue water that you could never find anywhere else, but it's really cool to see all the fish down there because you couldn't see that many fish anywhere else. The only way to really see the fish is by going on a self-guided tour. <laughs> so with hands on and elbows up, I took a four spin on the Kitch Itikippi Freshwater Spring. But how did the tongue twister get its nicknames? which is the name of the Indian legend that was derived uh, by John Belair, who was, in turn of the century, he was the person who fell in love with this area. And it was predominantly through his efforts that he persuaded the Palm and Book family, who were lumbering families, to sell this property to the state for $10, forever be preserved for its natural beauty and what it is. 10,000 gallons of water float through the spring each minute. And as you look through the raging rapid, you can see limestone, ancient tree trunks, mineral encrusted branches, and some of the fattest trout you will ever lay eyes on. For ABC 10 and CW5 News Now, I'm Danielle Davis.